Welcome, 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 welcome to the show. Welcome, party people. We got lots to cover today. We got we got some sneaky insider info that we love to share for the fall real estate market. I want to tell people when I buy and sell my homes, uh, contrary to the conventional wisdom, to the stereotypes of spring and summer real estate. Uh, so we'll get into that as we make our way through the show. We'll also take your calls. If you don't already have this phone number saved in your phone, you should. 214-310-0008. 214-310-0008. Or you can always go online, like my son says. ToddTremontyTeam.com. To ToddTremontyTeam.com. We want to answer your questions. Now, look, we buy and sell and help people buy and sell real estate all day, every day at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. We'll probably help a couple hundred people do that this year. We'll help thousands of people prepare to do that, think about it, update, remodel, improve their value, protect their value, and all those things. So if you've got questions, you should call or text 214-310-0008. You may be so fortunate as to speak directly with the English wonder himself, the Yanni Donny, Ian Daniels. Hello. There he is. More English than normal. For years, I'd say three, four, five years, we would start the show, which we shouldn't have been doing, but with this question, we would ask Ian, how English do you think you'll be today? Yeah, and I really didn't know how to answer that, which is no. why we moved more into like the Middlesbrough topic yeah. and F1 and things like he that. He would say things like, Middlesbrough lost, I'm not feeling very English, or uh, I'm missing food from home, so I'm feeling very English. And honestly, no one cared. And so we stopped doing that. I'm glad you mentioned it, though, because Middlesbrough's off to a terrible start this season. Yeah. Well, We're second base. Of the league, Baylor, Baylor got smoked last weekend, too. Yeah, but I'm so talking about real football. Today, okay. Today's going to be a better day. Uh, we're going to talk about American football today for that much time. We're finished now. Gig him. All right. Mm, that's something people say in public, but not always favorably. Okay. Here's the thing. We also have full price Courtney in studio, producer extraordinaire, all things audio, video, and digital. Check out the podcast. Check out the YouTube channel. Check out all the things at... Touchmoneyteam.com. There it is. Courtney likes to say in the background what's already being said on the microphone. That way it's harder to hear. Dutchmoneyteam.com is where you can go find all that. We've also got a guest in studio. Get excited, people. We've even given him a microphone. Brand new to the Todd Tremonti home selling team. First time on air. I don't know. Have you ever been on radio before? Never. First time. This is the one and only Grady Dill. Welcome to the show, Grady. Thank you. Happy to be here. You know, I thought you were happy to be here. It looked like you were happy to be here. We'll find out as we make our way through the show precisely how happy you are. But we've got some great questions for Grady. Why? We'll talk about this later, but we'll answer. We'll ask him to answer. Why would you join the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team? So don't answer that now. We'll come back to that later. Before that... This first segment is brought to you by Patrick Gleros and his team at Cardinal Financial. Whether you're looking to get a mortgage, if you're looking to refinance, maybe you're looking for an investment property, reach out to Patrick, give his team a call, 972-728-3420. You can go to patrickgleros.com. You can start the application right there on his website, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickgleros.com, NMLS number 308 804 and that grady is how you do a phenomenal read well it was all right i mean let's not let's not grade ourselves anyway welcome to the show folks we're getting into it uh i've been telling you for weeks now that we are in the fall real estate market and many of you have been saying wait but it's 109 degrees outside that's okay this is texas and the real estate market does not always match the actual seasons meaning the calendar or the weather weather Patterns, wetter patterns. Really quick, have you seen the weather for next week? Uh, I'm excited that... 82 and 83. Well, believe it Don't when we see it. We'll believe it when we see it. But I'm going to be honest. I was at a sporting event recently, and it was 92. And the conversation among parents was like, this is not that bad. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what, what a reprieve, you know? So I'm excited about it. Uh, the 80s are welcome. You know what else was welcome last week was a wee bit of rain. I haven't felt this old in a while. I stood at the back door looking out the window and I was like, we needed this rain. Y'all, we really, we could use some more. And I was like, oh my gosh, I sound 80. I'm pitching you with a robe, a pipe, and a cup of tea. None of those things were present, but I was equally as old as that caricature of a human. Here's the thing, folks. You've got questions and we've got answers. We want 
your questions. We're going to tell you all about the market. We're going to tell you what you should and shouldn't be doing in the fall market. We're going to tell you what's true and not true about the headlines that you're hearing and reading right now. But more than anything, we are committed to being of value, of service to you. And so the best way for us to do that is for us to hear your very specific needs, questions, concerns for you, your family, and your finances. And the best way for you to do that is to call or text 214-310-0008. If that's not saved in your phone, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Just save it in your phone right now. You can put it under Todd, Todd Tremonti, Todd Broker, Realtor, whatever you like. 214-310-0008 or anytime, day or night at that's your money team.com. All right. So it really hasn't been feeling like fall, right? It's been. It has officially not been feeling that hot way. as always. Um, but in real estate terms, we're operating in the fall. Absolutely. Right? September and have 9th been for today. A while. Yeah. September 9th today, contracts, generally speaking, 30 days. So we're putting homes under contract to close in October. In middle of October, generally speaking. Yep. So um, why? You've mentioned a little bit like, hey, I love the fall. Like, what is it about the fall market that you love that we feel like buyers and sellers need to know? All right. Warning. I'm going to spend the next hour talking about what I love about the fall. Now, we'll come at it from a buyer's perspective, a seller's perspective, and probably more exciting than anything. Just a, the perspective of a homeowner, of a family, of a people who love where they live and love to do fun stuff. But to answer your question... From a real estate perspective, why do I love the fall? And why do my wife and I almost always make our personal moves in the fall is this. Buyer activity tends to dip, right? And the reason is the stereotype says that everybody buys and sells in the spring and summer. That's not necessarily true, but stereotypes exist because of statistics. You know, most people start doing something and then we treat every situation like we would treat most situations. Therefore, we're right most of the time. So the point is, most people assume spring and summer is the best time to move. I like to move in fall because most people do not assume that that is the best time to sell. And what that means is when I'm a buyer, I'm competing against fewer buyers. And I'm buying a home from a seller who stereotypically has a lower level of confidence and a higher degree of flexibility, a higher degree of negotiation. They're more willing to compromise. So I can then win on both sides. I can buy a home with fewer buyers competing with me from a seller who is less likely uh, to stand super firm and kind of be a jerk. They're more likely to be negotiable and be favorable because they're under the impression oftentimes that if they don't sell now, they'll have to wait until spring and summer. Okay, so let's get into that piece of it then because that's the kind of general consensus of the industry about what people say is like the best time to buy and sell a home is in the spring and the summer. And you're saying false. Well, let me be very clear. I would say false, but I am not saying that the spring and summer is a bad time. I'm definitely not saying that. What I'm saying is the fall is also a very good time. Now, what you've heard me say thousands of times over you know decade plus on the radio is Every market is a good market to buy and sell in if you have the right strategy. Now, we always have to caveat that, Grady, because the whole world out there thinks that real estate agents are selfish dirtbags. And of course, we would say it's always a good time to buy and sell because that's what we want people to do. Now, we're very open about the fact that there are better times to buy and sell. I would rather be a seller right now than a buyer. But there is a strategy to win as a seller and a strategy to win as a buyer in any market. It's harder and easier in certain markets, but the truth is right now I like fall because there is a strategy for me to win as a buyer and win as a seller. So hopefully that answers the question. If not, I can clarify further. No, it absolutely answers it. Let me tell you about Goosehead Insurance really quick. DP Lambert and his team over there. Uh, if you have not shopped your home insurance, your car insurance, if you're not shopped both together recently, do so. Reach out to Bundle. DP. DP dot Lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T, DP dot Lambert at Goosehead.com, 214-838-5684. His team will be more than happy to take a look and see if they can save you what they've saved me over the years, which is thousands of dollars on my home and my auto. 
You can go to ToddTremontyTeam.com. If you forget any of the recommended pros and vendors, click on the radio tab and you will find everybody right there. ToddTremontyTeam.com. Yep, there it is. That's the place. There it is. This week, my daughter told me that she's tired of my son. ToddTremontyTeam.com. Being on the radio show and her not being on. So, full price, Courtney, we got to get the girls in here and record some drops for the ladies. Maybe we could replace Little John. What? Or Little John. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. TBD. All right. Here's the thing, folks. The market is confusing right now. We've been telling you this most of the year that currently in the market, confusion is reigning supreme. And that is a dangerous market to be in without expert guidance. I always say in our office, a confused mind says no. So when you're confused and you're unsure, is the market up? Is the market down? Rates are up, but is that bad? You know, what's happening at the Fed? What's happening with the economy? What's happening politically? There's a lot of confusion. And so people are sitting on the sidelines. I saw a report this week from a reliable source that I like to follow um, talking about the massive amount of pent up demand. Um, and demand is usually a buy side word. There is a demand for houses, meaning people want to buy them. But this was a report talking about the, mar the, the pent up transactional demand, meaning the desire to sell and buy that has not happened in 20 plus months because of interest rates. So you're sitting on a 3.2% interest rate and you could sell and do very, very well. But when you go buy, you're looking at 7% or whatever the case is. So you've got two, almost two full years worth of normal transaction rates that are just waiting for rates to slide just under a threshold where they would say, okay, I'll go. And then you're going to have this absolute battle in the streets. You guys remember when I got interviewed like two years ago, I think it was channel eight I can't, or Fox four. I don't remember which one. And they asked me the story about fighting the ladies fighting with umbrellas, waiting to move, go into a house. We will be back there so stinking fast that it will blow people's minds. And so the thing that we've been telling people forever is look, nobody loves a 7% rate when it wasn't that long ago that you could get a 4% rate or 8%. But a 7 or 8% rate might still be worth it if I don't have to swing an umbrella to fight someone just to get into a house to pay $70,000 more than it's worth. It might not. Let's be clear about that. Not everybody can afford that. That doesn't work for everybody. But there are times where paying a little bit more interest or a lot more interest on your loan is actually the better option versus waiting for a 5% rate and a $70,000 premium. So I got to say it every week right now because we're getting those questions every single week right now. You said last week that, <laughs> that, you, uh, that the people with cash like would be, this would be a wealth building moment for them. Great memory, Courtney. Great job. Uh, but I, and, and I had people ask me like legitimately, what am I supposed to be doing with my cash? Like Great you want question. me to buy a house? Is it like having a second house? Like, Well, first thing would just be to drop it off at my house. I'll take it and yeah, I'll sure. just hold Same. it for you. Same. Yeah. Number two would be yes to buy a home. And here's why. The story I was telling last week and the week before uh, was my read on the market as well as a local billionaire who has made a fortune in banking and real estate literally said, if you want your kids to own a home here in the next 20 or 30 years, you should probably buy it now. What he was implying was the value of homes in Dallas-Fort Worth is going up almost regardless of interest rates, uh, mortgage rates, banking activity, economic act activity, and political activity. That is just a generational trend. Therefore, if your children are 10 years old and you want them to be able to own a home, participate in the growth of the market, have the American dream, have personal control over where they live for the most part, then you probably want to secure that. Now, that doesn't mean you buy them a home, but maybe you buy a home now. So in a way you could support, subsidize, contribute to them buying it from you later or whatever the case is. I'm not saying people should buy their kids homes. My point is, it may be very, very, very difficult. It's It blows people's minds right now that an entry-level home in many, many parts of DFW is in the $400,000 range right now. Because most of us were around in the buying market when $149,000 house was a possibility. So where do you think it's gonna be in 25 years? In a city that has weathered 
all of the worst economic storms in the history of our country as well or better than almost any other market. Now, I, I'm using some loose terms, as well or better than most other markets. We're not the only unique market, but we are a market that doesn't take super hard hits. Occasionally it flattens out, occasionally it slows down. That's kind of where we've been, but we're still climbing noticeably. So the point is, if you have cash right now and you are interested in buying a home, holy moly. So you, are you saying that I'm gonna get rent i'm going to be able to rent it because other people aren't going to be able to buy it well primarily what i'm saying is if you would like to move if you would like another home for you and your family you've got a massive advantage right now because you don't care if interest rates are seven or eight percent but you've got sellers that are willing to be more reasonable you have fewer buyers to compete with you're not paying that premium that people were paying in 2021 2022 um you're getting a much more reasonable seller at a much more reasonable price without the increased interest payments of a mortgage. This is a great market for you to be in. Now, would you have rather bought in 1941? Sure you would have, prices were lower then. That's ridiculous, but everybody would like that. That's gone, the past is gone. What we've got is today and a reasonable prediction of the future. And that reasonable prediction is that the value of that house is gonna go up, up, up. And if or when, depending on what happens, mortgage rates come down. Yeah, people are saying they all, will. There's all this pent up demand that's gonna race back to the market. So good news, you might be able to get a five or 6% mortgage rate, but you're now gonna have to compete against 42 more buyers. Mm -hmm. Do you think, what, what makes you feel better? Mm -hmm. A lower rate or a lower purchase price? If you have cash, you don't have to worry about either of those things. Mm -hmm. Now, if you already have a home and you love it and you have a bunch of cash, very smart people are predicting that the value of residential real estate is going to go continue to go way up. So yes, you might buy that as a rental. You might buy that as a short-term rental. You might, you know, buy as a second home, but yes, your cash will do well parked in real estate as predicted by many, many smart people. No guarantees. You know, I feel like you took uh, Mason on a journey to, which is our previous producer to a uh, home on land and I want you to take me on a journey to my lake house. We've talked about this. Now, the, the problem is where you want that lake house to be. I don't think I currently hold a residential real estate license. So we can talk about this. Well, we can, we can talk about a Texas lake house. We can be negotiable on lakes. Right. Yeah, we can make I, it, I feel like my heart's open. We can make that happen for you. So back in July, Fannie Mae suggested they were forecasting that 30 year fixed rates would stay somewhere around 6.8%. Yep. that they would stay the same through the third quarter and then they would pull back towards kind of the mid sixes towards the end of the year. We're at 8.1, mm -hmm. right? I mean, what what's the reason that their predictions seem to be so off? And do we, do we still think that it's gonna come back towards the you end of the year? You sit on a throne of lies. Listen, it's not that they sit on a throne of lies, although that's great audio. The reality is this, nobody knows. Nobody knows. The Federal Reserve, who sets the banking rate, which doesn't necessarily set the mortgage rate, but is a massive driver of mortgage interest rates, they don't know either. They're waiting for economic reports, job reports. They're waiting for some random, probably inadequate calculation of inflation, and then they will make their decisions. So we just don't know. So. As much as I like to pick on bad headlines and bad statistics, we also have to give credit where credit is due. These people are doing the very best they can to make accurate predictions so that others can make accurate investments in the economy and in their families and in their businesses. And we just don't know. But the reason people were wrong is because they believe that the Federal Reserve would do what the Federal Reserve has done for a generation now. And anytime things get tough, they lower the mortgage rate. The, well, the, I'm sorry, they do not control the mortgage rate. They lower the federal reserve rate, the federal funds rate, which is basically an inter bank to bank rate. What they have said so far is exactly what they have done, which is we don't plan on doing that anytime soon. So at the moment, I think it is wise, and I'm just a real estate broker in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. I'm not a economic forecaster, although we've been pretty accurate in our 20 years in real estate. I think we should take them at their word until they do something different. At the moment, the chairman of the Fed has done what he said he was going to do for almost two straight years. That's rare, but that's what they've done. They have said, we're going to increase rates and we're going to leave them up there for a while. We need to have a sustained correction of this runaway inflation. 
So I don't anticipate that we're going to see any massive drops in rates, but I am seeing many, many other sources, not just Fannie Mae, say that they think we will see a slight reduction in rates at the end of this year, 2023, and we'll see a steady uh, incremental reduction in 2024, where we could be in the low sixes, high fives by the end of the next year. But let me say it one more time. Nobody knows yet. Ultimately, the best thing you can do is to talk to somebody like Patrick, right? And yep. he's going to be able to give you the most up-to-date information. I just went online and started looking around at what's the rates today and what's the forecast and what's predictions. And you can find anything that says the rates today are 8.1% to the rates today are 7.1%. It's like, it's just conflicting reports all over the place. You need to make sure you talk to a professional. Go to patrickgleros.com, talk to Patrick, reach out to him, and you can get the most up-to-date information as it is relevant to you based on your credit score and things like that. As of 4.46 p.m. yesterday, I was doing that exact thing. Texting with Patrick. Hey, what's your read on things? I'm personally about to make a decision on some financing. What do you think? Just do what I do. Patrick is who I trust and have trusted for 15 plus years when it comes to residential mortgage, whether you're buying a primary home, an investment, a secondary home, refinancing, or trying to get a decent read on the future of mortgage rates, go to patrickglaros.com. That's G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickglaros.com. All right, folks, if you got questions, you know what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be sending them to us so we can help you with that. 214-310-0008. By all means, if you're thinking about buying or selling um, or investing in residential real estate in the near future, we're here to help. We're not a fit for everybody. The Tatramani Home Selling Team, we have an ideal client profile. We have people that we are skilled to help, and we have other areas, property types where we're not the best. But call us first, and don't wait too late. We will help you determine if we're the right fit for you and you're the right fit for us. And then if not, we'll get you connected with somebody that is. But if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in residential real estate anytime in the next year or so, give us a call. 214-310-0008 or go online to DutchMoneyTeam.com. Now, if you like what you're hearing about the fall market, then we should talk right away because this does begin to shift as we get terribly close to the holidays. So if you're thinking you would like to make a move before the end of the year, Call me right now, 214-310-0008. What we'll do is what we call a free strategy session. You don't have to commit to anything. You don't have to pay anything, but we're literally going to ask you some thought-provoking questions about what are you hoping to achieve? What would be the best time for you? How would this impact your finances? What, what's the job implication, the commuting implications? And then the right advice might be, hey, you should wait a couple of years. The right advice might be, let's go, 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 go. But that will be based on what's best for you, your family, and your finances. Multiple agents on our team have been helping buyers right now get their homes under contract for under the asking price. And then their appraisals are coming back over the asking price. Which means instant equity. Absolutely. We have helped multiple people in the past few weeks achieve that. If you haven't checked your home valuation recently and you're thinking about selling or you just have no idea what your home is worth, go to TodtrumoneyTeam.com, click the home valuation tab. In less than one minute, you will find out what your home is worth, what your equity is. You can reach out for a cash offer. There are so many things you can do. TodtrumoneyTeam.com. If you haven't had your roof checked out lately, you got to go to PMRRoofing.com. We'll be back right after the break with exactly how to take advantage of the fall market when you're buying and selling my favorite strategy welcome back party people welcome back man lots of conversation during the break lots lots going on here it's the fall real estate market it is my personal favorite real estate market for you for me for all of us to take advantage of there are opportunities in the fall market if you were with us in the first part you know it's still hot as hades outside although we might get some reprieve this week it's looking pretty good I saw some 80s on the forecast. We'll see how it goes down. Um, but here's the thing. If you weren't with us for the first half, here's the recap. Wake up. Interest rates are not the only consideration. Even though it's hot, it is the fall market, and there's massive opportunity. How about that for a summary? Excellent. Uh, the opportunity exists in this. There's less competition from other buyers, and there's more negotiability from other sellers. So if you're selling and buying right now, I need you to call us. You'll probably get a chance to speak directly with Ian. 214-310-0008. And we'll talk to you about how you can buy a home, most likely below market value, 
and you could sell your home at a record breaking price. We've been doing it for clients for 19 plus years and we've been doing it for clients for the last, you know, like I, we got like six examples in the last month or two. Um, we are going to help a couple hundred people sell a, buy and sell homes this year. We're going to talk to thousands of them about getting ready to buy and sell and invest. And we want to pour all of that insight, all of that real life on the ground, recent, accurate data, not the headlines, not the national regional stuff, but the on the ground info. We want to pour that into you and help you make wise choices when it comes to you, your family, and your finances, and why you might want to take advantage of a really great fall buying and selling strategy. Give us a call 214-310-0008 or go online anytime. Cell phone, tablet, desktop, laptop at touchmoneyteam.com. PatrickGlaros.com is where you need to go to start an application if you are thinking about buying a home. If you're refinancing a home, maybe you're looking at getting a second property, maybe a third property, who knows? PatrickGlaros.com is where you're going to go. Patrick and his team will be able to help you out, give you the most up-to-date, accurate information as it comes to mortgage rates. Uh, they know what they are doing. Patrick, Rick, the entire team over there. 972-728-3420. Patrick Glaros, G-L-A-R-O-S, PatrickGlaros.com. N M L S number oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. Three zero eight eight. Stumbled out of the gate on that one. Listen, what happened in the Give first me a segment? A little bit of redo on that one, producer Courtney. Courtney. You know, let's 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 go to the uh, let's go to the expert on this. Grady, grab that mic. Do you remember in the first part of the show when Ian said how brilliant and great his live read was? Do you remember that? I do. I do remember this. Well, I mean, what happened there? How would you break it down? I like to prove to Grady that you don't always have to be perfect. I appreciate. Oh. Listen, I appreciate you modeling that humility. Yep. I would say he started strong with the Patrick Glaros read. He gave people clear instructions that if you're thinking about buying, refinancing, that you can go to patrickglaros.com. But yep. I'll tell you where he's most confident, Grady. He really likes the way that NMLS number 308804 rolls off his tongue and it blows. Didn't, it didn't really roll that time, did it, Grady? Let's give him some. <laughs> listen, faithful are the wounds of a friend, but deceitful are the kisses of an enemy. Sharpening is wise, it's loving. Tell them. How would you grade that live read, Grady, in your first radio show ever? It's not great. I don't have a ton to base it off of, but I could tell you his drive home today. Yeah. He's just going to be... He'll be thinking about yeah, that it's going to be on a repeat. God, no just, music. Just I, Listen, it's not a... You didn't fail. That's probably a C-plus read. How about the first one, though, huh? What are your thoughts on that one, Grady? <laughs> <laughs> listen, folks, uh, if you're thinking about mortgage, go to patrickglaros.com. That's what I do. I've been talking to him all week about one of mine. That's what you should do, too. Patrick Glaros.com. We probably won't send him the recording of that one. We'll just we'll just keep on going. That first one, though. Woo! Here's the deal. Um, it was a real doozy. Grady, the man, the myth, the legend. I've heard about you for years, and now you're here. I mean, you're on the team. It's so like Christmas. Why? Yeah, I think from the first time I walked in, uh, the short answer is the people, but I think the longer answer is there's something contagious about the team that it's hard to deny. It's a virus. It's Court a virus. Courtney is all yeah. heartfelt about that, all warm. I want more specifics. Um, <laughs> now, Grady's on the team. Grady's been uh, using his gifts to encourage and love on young people and share the gospel with them for a long time through the ministry of Young Life. We love that about him. Um, and many, many, many of those skills transfer to caring for and advocating for our real estate clients. And so we're thrilled to see you in action. When you thought about getting into real estate specifically, I do appreciate the kind words about our team and the people and the feel. But literally, like you got to go make a living and provide for your family. We're always looking for amazingly talented, kind, servant hearted, but also competitive winners to join our team. That's a rare, weird combo, to be really honest. So what attracted you to the setup, to the opportunity, to the work style, to the specifics? Yeah, I think from what I come from, there's a high grind. I mean, you're grinding all week, every day. And so that transfers over. Um, but I come from a really competitive family mm -hmm. where you don't, I mean, my grandpa played in the NBA and we were mm -hmm. told you don't play for fun, you play to win. And and that's, I feel like what I can put to work here is growing up in that and, and playing with that um, while helping people 
achieve their goals. Yeah. And in our environment, the win is for the client, right? Mm -hmm. We always talk about the trophies in our office are the stories of my client saved 50 grand. My my client didn't have to move twice. They were able to get the home they've dreamt about for 15 years. You know, those are the trophies in our office. Now, you know, it's funny. You said you don't play for fun. You play to win. You know, I'm not going to argue with your granddad, but the point is winning's fun, right? So what, the kind of people we want to hire, the invite to our team are not win at all cost people, but they're people that win joyfully, right? That love to go and advocate for the client. They love to bring back those trophies to the team. Five-star reviews, happy clients, people that are like, I will never transact real estate with anyone else ever again. Cause I've had, I've done this nine times and the first eight were at best. Okay. Several of them miserable. And this was actually not only financially rewarding, but really encouraging and, and thought provoking to help create the life and family environment that I want to in the future. And, and that's not how other people do it. So those are the kind of things we hear. Obviously we believe you'll go out and win for clients or we wouldn't have brought you on, but Maybe one more just role specific question. And by the way, uh, the reason we're asking Grady these things publicly on the air is because we're looking for a couple of more people just like Grady. So if you're thinking about getting a real estate license or you've recently gotten one, let's say in the last year or so, and you're not really, really, really happy with the environment that you're in, you're not feeling invested in, nurtured, challenged to grow as a person and in sales and career, then you should probably reach out. 214 310 zero 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 eight two one four three one oh zero 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 eight or you can go online to todd team.com you can click any button call any phone number text any phone number and we'd be thrilled to connect with you and talk more about that but here's my last question specific to the role grady what are you most excited about in let's just say the next year of your career here with the todd Tremonti home selling team Zero prep for that question, yeah, by zero the way. Prep. Totally put them on the spot <laughs> live on live on the air with thousands of people listening. You know, there's there's an excitement about the amount of people I'm gonna deal with. Yeah. Um and the wide variety of questions I get along the way that I get to learn about. Yep. Um I mean coming into this with, you know, a little bit of knowledge, but what that's gonna look like in a year of yep. the conversations that I'm having with my friends in the last week over their questions and I'm like, I, I know the textbook answer to that, yeah. but there's only a little bit of application versus a year from now, yeah. the knowledge that I'll get to bring into those. Yeah. And we have less doubt than you, then you'll answer those really well. You know, when you join the Todd Tremonti home selling team, we have what we call an agent in training role. So, so Grady is in currently that agent in training role. It's a six week program where we give you the equivalent of what we believe is about a two year real estate journey. So on our team, when somebody rolls out of that agent and training role, they have the equivalent of what most people would have after two years of highly productive, successful experience in the business. Nearly every time we add someone to the team, it is actually people with no real estate experience. We say less than one year, usually zero. That sounds totally backwards. But the reality is that many, many, many in our industry, as we've talked about all you know for years on this show, are just not very good at their jobs. Doesn't make them bad people, but real estate is a career that many people do part-time or on the side or as a backup option or default option. It's not something that everybody gets into with an intent to be full-time, fully committed, and to have impact in the world at a world-class level. It's not an industry that demands that. Now, our team does, and because of that, we pour so much into someone in those first six weeks that they come out of that with the ability and the support, the technology, the the education and the staff around them to go and truly deliver world-class value. So we're excited to see Grady run down that journey, but if that's attractive to you and you would like to find out more, call or text 214-310-0008 or go online to toddtremontiteam.com. There is a careers tab on our page, Uh, join the team button and you can fill out a form submit a profile and we can have a conversation. We would absolutely love to add three more really kind, servant-hearted, but also competitive, tenacious winners to our team that can have a massive impact in DFW on a couple of hundred families every single year. Go to toddtremontiteam.com. 
Uh, we had another faux pas with a uh, title insurance company recently. Wah, wah, Courtney, wah. did you know that? Wait, hold on. I- I've heard a few times. You know where wah, we don't wah, have faux wah, pas wah, in the wah, title wah, world, Courtney? Wah. Republic title. Do it again. Do it again. Republic title. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. that Tell you what we will do is we'll for. cut that out and send it over to <laughs> Republic Title. And then we'll just play it on loop on Insta all day long. It's going to be great. RepublicTitle.com is where you need to go to find out more information about all the services that Republic Title offer. Uh, we have been working with them for years. And every time we get to, it just goes well. They know what they're doing. They have the best legal team around. They have so much good stuff going on with them. Spoke with them this week as well. Yep. 972-423-8777 is their phone number. RepublicTitle.com is their website. You can go to TodtramoneyTeam.com. You can click the radio tab and you can find all of our recommended pros and vendors right there. Speaking of that, if you don't currently know the condition of your roof, you should. Now, that sounds crazy. I understand that because how the heck would you know that? Well, you wouldn't until you call PMR Roofing and you call Jordan Collins and you have him climb up on your roof or one of their pros Climb up on your roof and tell you, hey, you're in good shape. We actually had a tiny bit of hail just this last weekend. We had rain, that that water falling from the sky that we hadn't seen in a couple of months. But in any given calendar year in Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth, Texas, or the surrounding areas, we have all the extremes. We have unbelievable heat. We have high wind. We have heavy rain. A lot of times we get hail. Sometimes we get rain. I mean, sometimes we get snow. The reality is this. Your roof covers most of your most valued belongings. And even if they're not unbelievably uniquely valued in a sentimental way, they're expensive. Walls, floors, appliances. If your roof is not in good condition and we get those extremes, that leads to damage that you don't want to repair, right? And so if you don't know the condition of your roof, you should. This is just part of regular wise homeownership. So if you haven't had a professional roofer on your roof in the last two years, I want you to go to pmrroofing.com. You can call any phone number, fill out any form there as well. It's a good looking website, by the way, pmrroofing.com. And when you connect with them, ask for Jordan Collins. If you're just dying to call them, you can call 469-409-ROOF or ROOF, if you say it that way, Courtney, 469-409-ROOF or ROOF or pmrroofing.com. Uh, Grady, you like to have fun? I love to have fun. Has anyone ever answered that question? No. Do you think we like to have fun? I don't know. What? Welcome to the most fun and sought after and talked about segment in radio history. Here we go. It is the Cockney rhyming slang word of the week, Grady. You excited? I'm ready for this. He gave my mic away. Yeah, he did give your mic away. You know why? He's scared of you because you've been right a lot. We can pass it back and forth. It's fine. Here we go. I'm going to give you, Grady, a little bit of a rhyme, and you're going to tell me what word it means in Cockney rhyme. I hate to even participate in this segment, but this is a region, a part in England where this is a style of speak. It's kind of a slang style of speak, this Cockney language pattern. Okay? It it generally makes no sense. Are we ready? And honestly, it doesn't always rhyme. Here we go. We can still hear you, Colt, so you're good. Ready? Rattle and clank. That you say that together, rattle and clank. Rattle and clank. Prank. Eh. Dang it. You're eliminated. Stank. Eh. Rattle and clank. Rattle and clank. Don't think too hard about it, Grady. Do Broken. Well, it doesn't even rhyme. I don't rattle know. I don't rhyme. Bank. The bank. correct answer was bank. Because back in the day, you'd have all the coins and they'd be rattling and clanking around. So you go to the rattle and clank and that's your bank. I just want to point out for like the 47th time that it's... It's harder to say these things than the actual thing. Like, just it's way easier to say bank. But we're talking about fun, though. We're having, oh, having, we're having a great it's more time. Fun. It's just <laughs> thrilling. You know what else is fun? Sexy. Talking about sexy Texas, Todd. How about that for a transition? I mean, it sounded sexy, like she yelled sexy. "sexy," which is why my kids like the navigation on the Australian accent when we're driving in and around sexy, sexy Texas. <laughs> I'm bringing Saxy back. All right, what's the question? What are we doing? Yeah, I want you to talk to me about Saxy. Oh, talk okay. a little about homes on land. It's like it's like the post game interview where there's no question. Coach, talk about the defense. Like, that's not a question. Oh, it's all a question. Uh, what do you like about Saxy? What do people need to know about Saxy when it comes to homes on land? How about that? Please add this question. to the grading of his live read. His questions aren't always questions. All right, I love Saxy. 
Texas. And the reason is, is people sleep on Saxy. I generally speak about Saxy as part of a trio of cool towns, Wiley, Saxy, Murphy. It's kind of an area uh, that those boundaries bleed together. And if you're in the area, you take advantage of restaurants and schools. And there's some crossover of borders and counties and cities and all kinds of stuff happening there at the convergence of Wiley, Saxy, and Murphy. But at its core, Saxy is a town of not quite 30,000 people that often you wouldn't really know that you have entered or you have left it, right? It's very similar to the surrounding communities of East Richardson, East Plano, Murphy, Wiley, um, and the Firewheel part of Garland, right? So it's right there in the heart. Uh, Highway 78 kind of splits it in half, heading out from Dallas and Garland out to Wiley and Nevada. Um, saxe has got a lot going on. It's got uh, a big chunk of one of the only master plan communities out there called Woodbridge. It's also still got uh, just the edge has got some of the old small town feel of like the feed store and the small local grocery store and those things. Whereas on other corners of Saxe, you've got brand new retail and you've got brand new neighborhoods. Uh, you've got acreage properties in decent quantity in the Saxe area. There's still a couple sitting on two, three, four, five acres. There's quite a bit on one acre. There's some half acre lots. And then of course, there's those big master plan communities. Well, there's really only one, but there's some big developed neighborhoods where you've got newer 90s and newer neighborhoods and a lot of them. You've got a price point in Saxe that starts at the very, very low end. You might occasionally sneak in under 300. And then you can buy property well up into the 1 million plus range. So there's everything in between there. We do have a lot of new multifamily popping up in Saxe in what's fairly new to Saxe are some mixed use developments where you've got retail on the ground floor or at least uh, in the development. And then you've got some nice new, what I would call higher end, but relative to the rest of the Metroplex, still some affordable rental rates. Um, there's some really cool new stuff with some city parks kind of attached. You got volleyball courts, trails, walkways, some water features, all that kind of stuff. I could keep going, but one last thing I'll add is that Saxe's um, certainly not nearly as developed as like a Plano or a Richardson, which are neighboring cities as far as core infrastructure. But Saxe's making an effort from a tax perspective to incentivize development of shops, retail. But there is some sneaky good restaurants hiding out in Saxe that are not chains, that are not, you know, uh, multiple location type corporate owned deals, but some really, really good local food over there as well. Maybe some other time we'll shoot a video on that and I'll share some of my favorites. And it is possible to get some, a little bit of land out there too. I've got family out there that have two acres of land out Absolutely. there and they love it out there. Yep. Also a quick shout out to the uh, president of the Saxe Senior Center. That would be my grandmother. How about that? Madam President. Round of applause for Madam President. A lot of flexing today. A lot of what? A lot of flexing. Well, you know, he likes to be applauded. And I just gave him some applause, so that's my fault. I've encouraged it. And thank you. You're welcome. All right, folks, if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate, pause for effect. Now is the time. Now is the time. I love the fall market. Now, if you and your family and your finances are not ready, I am not trying to twist your arm into buying or selling right now. We'll be here whenever you're ready at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. But if you're ready, but you're nervous, you are not alone. If you would like to be buying and selling right now, but you feel like that might not be smart, that might be a bad choice, then what you should take advantage of is a free strategy session with the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, one of our full-time, fully dedicated, world-class real estate specialists who are only working with sellers or only working with buyers, in either only the Dallas market or only the Fort Worth market, we have offices in both, we'll sit down with you uh, in person in the office or on Zoom or maybe even just a quick phone call to start and get an idea of what a healthy timeline would be for you, what the right approach would be for you, whether you should jump on that right now or whether you might be six months or a year or five years out. Whatever the best outcome for you is, we are happy to help you sort out and create a plan for it. That's why we call it a free strategy session. It's not intended to sell you anything unless that's best for you. It is intended to give you a strategy where currently no strategy exists. If you're sitting on a bunch of uncertainty or nervousness or fear or anger about the market, Grady and I were talking during the break about how lots of young people are kind of angry about the market. Why, why are they angry, Grady? Because of interest rates. Because of interest rates or housing costs, right? Yeah. 
they're thinking, well, when my parents bought a house, they bought one for 150. Well, that's not an option for me anymore, and that's not fair. And the reality is, it isn't fair, but it is the reality. So if you're unsure, or you're angry, or you're confused, or you kind of want to move forward, but you're afraid everyone's going to think you're dumb, give us a call. We will help you navigate the wisdom of that for you, your family, and your finances. 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008 or online at touchmoneyteam.com. And if you have not checked your home valuation recently, if you've not checked it this year, I don't know what you're doing. You need to go to touchmoneyteam.com. You need to click the home valuation tab. And in less than a minute, you can find out what your home is worth. You can find out what your home equity is. You can reach out for a cash offer. You can ask for a come. You can ask for market analysis. There's so many things you can do by going to touchonmyteam.com and clicking the home valuation tab. If you own a home, you should do that right now. If you're driving, wait till you stop. Just go to toddtremontiteam.com. And then on the homepage, you got lots of options. You can click the home valuation button. There's a buyer button, a seller button, a radio button, a podcast button. Go check all of it out. But that website, nothing costs anything. And you can find you can do a little scorecard and find out your home buyer readiness score, your home seller readiness score. You can search every home for sale by every agent on the market in all of DFW. You can also find out your home value, your home equity. You can access one of our full-time agents and none of it costs you anything. Don't sit around with a bunch of uncertainty. Go get clear on that, right? If you haven't got your landscaping dialed in for the fall, call Keen Landscaping or just go to their website, keenlandscaping.com, K-E-A-N-E, keenlandscaping.com. I love the fall. I love to get outside with my family. I think it's the best season of the year for weather. There's sports going on. You can actually enjoy that all your plants are in bloom because they survive the summer, maybe, and the weather starts to cool off. So spring is great, but everything's still dead coming back to life. Fall, most of your shade, trees, and things like that are alive, and the weather starts to cool off, and there's sports to watch, kids' activities. For half the fall in Texas, you can still swim and everything. So I love the fall. I love what it does for families, for connection, for indoor living, outdoor living, outdoor cooking, parties, engagement, all of those things. And I love leading into the holiday season. So if we can help you enjoy the fall by buying a home, selling a home, investing in real estate, or even getting connected to a contractor to work on a patio, a pool, a pathway, some landscaping, Keen Landscaping does a lot of that. And we can help get you connected to a plan, an idea or the freedom from that anxiety and fear that exists in this marketplace. Go to toddtremonteteam.com.